President Barack Obama puts on a master class in public speaking. Here are three very effective public speaking techniques that Obama uses consistently across most of his speeches. The first is what I call transcendence. Barack Obama can actually take us to another place. He can paint a picture in your mind's eye by using very concrete and vivid language. It's the same reason why I like Bruce Springsteen lyrics. You can see a barefoot girl sitting on the hood of a Dodge drinking a warm beer in a soft summer rain. It, there are adjectives. It's vivid. It's descriptive. It's tangible. A great speech, great music lyrics. They're transcendent. On November 7, 2012, Barack Obama gave uh, really an outstanding victory speech. Listen to how he praises his supporters and his campaign staff. You'll hear the determination in the voice of a young field organizer who's working his way through college and wants to make sure every child has that same opportunity. You'll hear the pride in the voice of a volunteer who's going door to door because her brother was finally hired when the local auto plant added another shift. You'll hear the deep patriotism in the voice of a military spouse who's working the phones late at night to make sure that no one who fights for this country ever has to fight for a job or a roof over their head when they come home. The quote you just heard brings me to the second technique, repetition. It's a way of structuring sentences to give them more impact. Speechwriters technically call it anaphora. I call it repetition because that's what you're doing. You're repeating the same words or phrases at the beginning of successive sentences. Think of Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. I have a dream that someday, I have a dream, I have a dream. Barack Obama does something very similar, and it's very effective. Remember, Obama rose to prominence in 2004 when he gave an electrifying speech before the Democratic National Convention. There, Obama used repetition repeatedly. Listen. I believe that we can give our middle class relief and provide working families with a road to opportunity. I believe we can provide jobs to the jobless, homes to the homeless, and reclaim young people in cities across America from violence and despair. I believe that we have a righteous wind at our backs and that as we stand on the crossroads of history, we can make the right choices and meet the challenges that face us. And finally, the third technique, use gestures and your vocal delivery to add impact to the narrative. Let's go back to November 7, 2012, the victory speech. Watch Obama's gestures as he delivers his speech. What makes America exceptional are the bonds that hold together the most diverse The bonds that hold together the most diverse nation on earth. It's very impactful. He's constantly using his gestures to emphasize different sentences or different words. Uh, sometimes when he talks about being inclusive, he will spread his arms apart with his palms up. Also vocal delivery. He pauses. Nothing is as dramatic as a well-placed pause. That's what politics can be. That's why elections matter. It's not small, it's big. It's important. Democracy in a nation of 300... He also speeds up his vocal delivery. At the end of this speech, listen to how his faster paced vocal delivery, as well as raising his volume, actually adds impact to the words. The idea that if you're willing to work hard, it doesn't matter who you are, or where you come from, or what you look like, or where you love, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, or Hispanic, or Asian, or Native American, or young, or old, or rich, or poor, able, disabled, gay, or straight, you can make it here in America if you're willing to try. So there you can hear how President Obama's vocal delivery and pacing adds impact to the words. People want somebody to believe in. As a leader, make them believe in you, using your words, gestures, and vocal delivery to drive your message home.